After crashing in prehistoric times, the new doctor and Clara were chased by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. They managed to escape into the TARDIS, which the dinosaur then swallowed. The TARDIS then relocated to Victorian London, bringing the dinosaur with them, which spat out the time machine onto the banks of the Thames after choking on it. The doctor, suffering from severe post-regenerative confusion, stepped out and met Madame Vastra, Jenny, and Strax, joined by an equally befuddled Clara, before collapsing. Back at Paternoster Row, the doctor was put to bed to recover. Vastra confronted Clara over her prejudiced attitude to the doctor's new face, and Clara admitted that it was a big change for her. Upstairs, the doctor escaped his room and attempted to communicate with the dinosaur in the Thames, when it suddenly burst into flames. Clara and the gang left separately and ended up right next to him. The doctor, still rather confused, disappeared into the Thames. The next morning, Clara found a newspaper advertisement that called her the impossible girl and invited her to dinner on the other side of the page, which turned out to be an advert for Mancini's family restaurant. Believing it was a message planted by the doctor, Clara traveled to the restaurant and indeed found the doctor there, though he denied leaving the message. Clara and the doctor were taken down to the restaurant, Larder, so that the droids could harvest their organs. After being separated from the doctor, the half-face man interrogated her with threats of death, but remembering what happened when she had unsuccessfully threatened her rebellious students, dared him to, calling him on his bluff and saying that if the new doctor was really the doctor, he'd save her. The doctor suddenly revealed himself. She and the doctor called the Paternoster gang into action, and they began fighting off the droids. The half-face man escaped, but the doctor followed. Clara and the gang seemed to be overpowered by the droids, but before they could be killed they all suddenly deactivated. Clara and the gang returned to Paternoster Row, finding that the doctor and the TARDIS had vanished. Clara prepared to ask for a vacancy, believing the doctor wouldn't come back. However, he did, and Clara happily ran to the TARDIS. Inside, she was surprised to find the doctor, like his predecessors, had renovated the control room. He affirmed to Clara he was not her boyfriend. Still having great trouble dealing with the sudden changes to the doctor's regenerated self, Clara showed trepidation to continue traveling with him when the TARDIS landed on Earth. Clara's phone started ringing. Stepping outside, Clara answered the phone and was shocked to hear the voice of the 11th doctor. He told her he was calling from Trenzalor before he had finished regenerating. He told her the new doctor would be just as scared after the change as she would be and urged her to help him with the two of them finally exchanging a belated goodbye. This call finally convinced Clara to accept the new doctor, and she gave him a big hug, despite him protesting he was no longer a hugging person. The two then realized that instead of Clara's home, they had landed in Glasgow, and they set off to get coffee.